Today we're diving into ZK Sync Error. Now this is a zero knowledge powered layer two scaling solution for Ethereum from Matalabs. And it's already attracted over $120 million in TVL since launching its public mainnet two months ago. Matalabs managed to raise $200 million in November during the depths of the bear market. So VCs certainly think the technology holds promise. Today we're gonna use some of the applications that are live on Eero. And if you watch till the end, we'll walk you through the exact steps you need to qualify for the potential airdrop. Okay, so the first step is to add ZK Sync Error to your MetaMask wallet. And the easy way of doing this is to go chainlist.org and search for ZK Sync. Now, once our MetaMask wallet is connected, we can scroll down, search for ZK, and when we hit enter, we should see the testnet and the mainnet available. Step two, we're gonna bridge assets to ERA. And to do this, we have to go to bridge.zksync.io. So we'll go over there and we'll start by connecting our wallet. You can see that I've already connected mine and you can select the amount that you want to bridge. We'll hit the deposit button and using the MetaMask pop-up, we approve the transaction, easy enough. Now, bear in mind the process can take up to five minutes and you can see an estimate of the transaction fees before confirming. Step three, next we have SyncSwap. So let's go over to SyncSwap's DAP and we'll start by connecting our MetaMask wallet. And what we're gonna do here is swap some ETH for USDC. So we select the amount of ETH that we wanna swap into USDC and we click approve. We interact with the MetaMask pop-ups, confirm, and we're good to go. Next up is step four, minting our very own .zk domain. So we're gonna mint a .zk domain. And to do so, we have to go to app.zkns.domains. So I've typed in the defiant and I see that it's unavailable. We will go for I am defiant, see if that works. That's available. Okay, so then we can hard this and we're gonna connect our wallet. We connect the MetaMask wallet as such. Once we've checked the availability and connected our wallet, we can register with ETH. You see the cost on screen as well. It says it's about six and a half US dollars at the moment. And there we go, as simple as that. Step five, we're gonna buy and mint an NFT on Mint Square. We're almost there at this point. So we head over to mintsquare.io and this is a very important step. Make sure you see the forward slash ZK sync in the URL bar and only mint an NFT with the letters ZK before the project. Otherwise, you've just minted a normal NFT and you might not qualify for the airdrop. So let's say we like ZK animals for the sake of this example. Once we have the collection in front of us, we choose the NFT we like, we click buy, we confirm the transaction and celebrate. You're now an NFT owner. So there you have it. By following these simple steps, you're all set to qualify for the ZK sync error airdrop. Thank you for tuning in and stay defiant.